Hello everyone and happy holidays. I am back with another Christmas themed video for you guys. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how I made this DIY Christmas wreath. So where I kind of got this idea for you guys is last year I actually ended up making my own and it was just like an idea I saw on Pinterest and I wasn't even thinking about making a video and not to toot my own horn, but I absolutely love how my Christmas wreath turned out. And so after I made it, I decided that I really wanted to do a video. Since I obviously already have a DIY Christmas wreath, I don't really need another one. So I just asked my sister if she would like one, and of course she did. So yeah, this is the wreath that I ended up making for her. So obviously in this video, I'm going to be going over how I made this wreath, all of the supplies that are needed, and basically just sharing my tips on how to make your own wreath and maybe even sharing some tips of what not to do because I did try a couple different like methods in this video that I didn't do originally with my Christmas wreath and so this video was a little bit of a struggle for me not gonna lie but that's okay because I think the final product of this wreath is absolutely gorgeous and another main reason that I really wanted to make this video for you guys is because I feel like when you go into the store the Christmas wreaths that they have are so beautiful they are so expensive so I really wanted to share this idea with you guys it's pretty easy to do you can make it look just as good or even better looking than those finished wreaths that they have in the stores that are priced at like a hundred dollars and because you're making it yourself you're definitely not spending as much money so if you're someone that loves Christmas and you're bowling on a budget, this is the video for you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So if you would like to see how I made this DIY Christmas wreath, then just keep on watching. All right, so first let's get into all of the supplies that we are going to need when it comes to making this wreath. So the first, obviously you need of the body of the wreath. So I ended up just getting this like plain metal wreath from Hobby Lobby. Another trick that you could also use, and I actually saw this on Pinterest that which kind of gave me the idea of making my own wreath. What you can do is just use like an old metal hanger that you don't want or use anymore. You can take it apart and make it into a circle and that's gonna make it really easy to just slide those ornaments right on there. So if you didn't wanna buy a wreath like this, even though this wreath isn't very expensive, I think it's like a few bucks, but if you wanted to even go like a more cheaper route and you have some metal hangers laying around at home, you could definitely use that. The next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some supplies to adhere our ornaments and other decorations to the wreath. So I have a hot glue gun and some string. Now for the wreath that I have for myself that I made last year, I used strictly string to just tie them on, which definitely was a process. And when you turn the wreath around, it looks like a hot mess, but the string works perfectly fine. And this particular string, I don't exactly remember where it's from. I'm sure it's from some craft store, whether Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And then the hot glue gun, I didn't end up using on the wreath that I made for myself, but I did end up using it on this wreath just to kind of add some extra stability and to make the ornaments and other decorations on the wreath more secure. And a hot glue gun you can literally find anywhere at any craft store. This particular one I actually found at the flea market, which is a total score. It works perfectly fine and I don't even think it was a dollar. The next thing that I'm going to need for this video is some wire cutters. Now this one is totally optional. The only thing that I ended up using this for is I just needed to cut down some of the long stemmed decorations. So yeah, I kind of just depends what kind of decorations you want to get for your wreath but if you end up getting just strictly ornaments then you don't need the wire cutters and then that brings me to the rest of the stuff that we will need which is obviously ornaments and decorations and this part you can obviously make it all you you don't have to use a certain type of ornament you don't have to use certain type of decorations you can literally use whatever you want so when obviously like I said in the beginning of this video this wreath is for my sister so I just kind of like asked her what are some things that she loves and she would want me to incorporate into her wreath so she told me she loved like the classic red and green Christmas colors she loves snowmen and Santa and so those are a few of the things that I kind of had to go off of so I went to Hobby Lobby all of this stuff that you're seeing here I did get at Hobby Lobby including the decorations that you will see in the next clip so I just got some basic round ball ornaments in a green red and silver color getting various sizes that is also key when you're getting decorations especially for ornaments bigger and smaller ones because that's really gonna help placing them on your wreath securing them and to kind of help hide 
like the metal part of the wreath. So along with those basic ornaments, I also found these really cute snowmen and Santa Claus ornaments. And along with those, we ended up just walking down all of the aisles at Hobby Lobby looking for various decorations that we could use for this wreath and me and my sister both saw these owls and like she fell in love with them so I was like okay I wasn't really planning on owls but I will fit them in to this wreath anyways because they are just so cute All right and then for the other decorations are these long stemmed decorations when I saw them I fell in love with them and like I really just wanted to add them to this wreath I thought it would really take the wreath to like next level so i just found these like sparkly bulb things don't really know what they are but i thought they were cute they're silver sparkly and then i also found these really big snowflakes which i fell in love with and you kind of already got a sneak peek of the final product at the intro of this video but wait till the end i'm obsessed with how the bigger snowflakes turned out on this wreath Another tip when you're getting ornaments for your wreath, it's going to help a lot if you can get ornaments that have the the tops on them, like the metal parts that obviously you can hang them like on the tree or whatever you're doing. It helps if it's not like super glued to the ornament and it comes right off. I feel like it's really hard to explain, but I included a clip of me like taking it off so you can see like what I'm talking about because that's going to make it really easy to wrap your ornament or the prongs that are secured to the top of the ornament it's going to make it really easy to secure the ornament to the metal wreath that you are using as the body but if you do get ornaments that don't do this which is actually the mistake that i made last year when i was making my own wreath then you could just go with the string method like i said in the beginning of this video the string method it works perfectly it might look a little messy your fingers might fall off by <laughs> tying a bunch of knots, but trust me, that'll work just fine. All right, so that's all of these supplies that we're gonna need to make our DIY wreath. So now let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that you're gonna wanna do, and I do this with any type of crafting project, you wanna lay out where you want your ornaments and decorations to go. I like to do this to kind of save time, because I feel like when you just like go in and start putting things places, and you don't really have a vision of what it's gonna look like at the end, that's just gonna increase your chances of ending up with a final product that you're not satisfied with. And I find that it also takes you a lot longer with whatever you're doing. So just take the first like five, 10 minutes, lay out where you want your stuff to go. And what's really gonna help with that, if you're someone like me that has an awful memory, just pull out your phone, take a quick picture and reference that while you're decorating so once I kind of have a plan of what I want the wreath to look like, now I'm gonna start by putting some of the ornaments on the wreath. So the, what you're gonna wanna do to make things easier is start with the bigger ornaments first, then work your way down to the smaller ornaments. This is just another method I just find easier when it comes to any type of decorating. I know in the beginning we already kind of mapped out where all of the ornaments were going to go, but I just like to do this just in case because it's a lot easier to add in a few smaller ornaments than it is to add in bigger ornaments. So depending on the top of the ornaments that your particular ornaments have, the Santa, the snowman, and the owls that didn't have like the ornament tops on them that came off, I ended up just tying them on and securing them with the string. I had issues securing the owl with the string because I didn't want to like wrap the string around the owls because I didn't really want you to see the string. So when I first put those on, they definitely weren't very secure, but the more I got into putting all the decorations on, getting the hot glue gun out, I was able to secure them a lot better. So that's kind of my other tip for you guys. If you're kind of near the beginning stages and things aren't staying where they're supposed to and kind of moving around all over the place and ornaments are popping off, I would just recommend don't panic. Just keep going with your vision and just have some other supplies next to you at easy reach. Like for example, a hot glue gun. That hot glue gun and then the fake snow that I'm going to break out in a little bit later in this video definitely saved me. <laughs> so yeah, don't freak out. Just keep going. Believe in yourself believe in the vision that you are seeing for your wreath and it'll all work out in the end.
have the ornaments that the tops come off, you're gonna wanna go ahead, take those off with the prongs of the top of the ornament. You're just gonna want to sandwich that with the uh, metal part of the wreath and then just slide the ornament back onto those prongs. And this is actually where I found it to be quite complicated. I think maybe this would work better if you just had an old metal hanger as the body of your wreath because you're just working with one metal piece. Unlike the wreath that I have, it has like three or four layers of metal like right next to each other. So I feel like the ornaments didn't feel as snugly as I was hoping they would. I ended up just sticking with this method because I really, honestly, I was too lazy to go back and like put them back together and then tie them with the string. I just like wasn't having it. So I was going to make it work if it killed me. And at the end it did end up working, but that's just something that I found along the way. It definitely was a little difficult. And throughout the whole process, there were some ornaments that were just popping off multiple times. Like they just weren't as secure as I was hoping they would be. And then once I have those bigger green ornaments on and then those other ornament pieces, now I'm gonna go in with the red and silver smaller ornaments. My gosh you guys I am only 25 years old but I learned this night that I am definitely getting older because my original plan is oh my gosh I'm gonna put on some like Christmas music or a Christmas movie I'm gonna get in some comfy clothes and I'm gonna like you know crisscross applesauce on the ground and I'm gonna work on this wreath and it's gonna be a great night uh no I was in so much pain you guys my legs and my back were killing me and there was even a point in time where I literally got stuck on the ground for probably like 10-15 seconds which doesn't sound very long but when you're stuck in a crisscross applesauce position and you literally can't move and you can't get off the ground that 10-15 seconds turned into an eternity and I got so scared but yeah I, I learned that even though I'm only 25 I definitely can't do some of the things that I used to do when I was younger so that's why I didn't last very long on the ground and I had to move to our dining room table so I could stand up. So that's kind of why we got a new background going on in this video because I almost died and was about to sign up for life alert because I couldn't get off the ground. All right, so we moved up to the table. We can move now. I'm just gonna finish up placing all of the ornaments on the wreath. we do that this is where I realized that after all of the ornaments that I got I had them all on the wreath and there was still a lot of like empty space and the ornaments weren't very secure they were moving around all over the place so I was like oh my gosh what the heck am I gonna do so I decided to add some filler throughout the wreath to cover up the rest of the metal pieces and to kind of add some cushion and like more security between each of the ornaments. So I decided to go in with this fake snow. You can find it anywhere around the holidays. And I ended up adhering it with my hot glue gun. 
Uh, I ended up gluing the snow to the actual like metal body of the wreath. And then I also ended up securing the fake snow onto the actual ornaments. Obviously because I'm using a glue gun, I just decided to place a garbage bag underneath my wreath just so I didn't damage the table at all. And if these next few clips are a little bit choppy, it's because they are, I apologize about that. I had to do some serious like cutting and deleting of some clips because I couldn't keep my head and my hair out of frame. Like I understand like YouTube isn't like my full-time job, but I feel like I've been doing it long enough that you think I would realize like the angle that I'm placing my camera and like the angle of like my body positioning. You would think I would be more aware of that, but clearly I'm not because a lot of this time that I'm gluing this wreath together, this is what you're seeing. It's like, oh, great job, Brooke. Like <laughs> that's great angling. Everyone can see exactly what you're doing. So I, I apologize about that, but I feel like I was able to um, savor enough clips so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. And then after we have all of the snow on the wreath, this is where I'm going to lay out where I want those bigger final decorations to go on our wreath. I decided to save these till the end because obviously they're a little bit bigger and they're a little bit more of an awkward shape. They're not like an ornament where I can easily wrap them around the metal wreath body. And what I ended up doing after I kind of laid them out where I wanted them to go, I ended up going in with my glue gun and I completely covered the stem portion of these decorations with the glue and then I just kind of shoved them on in with the wreath in between ornaments into the snow that was already on the wreath in between the metal bars of the actual wreath body just kind of wherever I could shove them in easily and then this part right here this one was kind of on an angle so I decided to just put like my glue gun like the glue sticks packaging underneath it just to kind of give it some stability and hold it up while it was drying and then once I have the stem of these decorations on the wreath, this is where I'm gonna go in with my glue gun, even more uh, glue some of the parts of these decoration pieces to the other ornaments on the wreath, just so I know they're really secure.
once I have all of those decoration pieces on the wreath, I am done. And that this is kind of our final look of this DIY Christmas wreath. Like I said throughout, there was definitely some struggles along the way, but like I said, I think the final look of this wreath turned out awesome. So yeah, that's basically it for this DIY Christmas wreath. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you are deciding that you want to make your own Christmas wreath, I would love to see your final creations. Definitely send those to me on any of my social media. You can find all of those down in the description box down below. Or if you have any other Christmas decorations that you DIY'd, I would love to see those as well. I love crafting, so I would love to get some inspiration from some of your guys' creations. And yeah, so I'm going to get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, and I will see you all next week with a new video. Bye, everyone.